Testing. So do you guys like my setup? My background? Assalamualaikum, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys have been following me on my channel, you guys probably know that I just got back from South Korea almost three weeks ago. I'm not a full-time traveler because I have a full-time job which requires my commitment five days a week. I do not travel a lot and if I do travel, I like to make plans ahead. But since I like traveling so much, I would like to share with you the story on how I sought to travel in the first place. My dad used to travel a lot when I was younger for his work. And when he got back, he always tells me stories about the countries that he visited and he shows pictures and photos. At that time, I decided that I really wanted to travel when I grew up. The first country that I really, really want to visit was Japan. I started learning about Japanese language, about Japanese culture, watching Japanese animations and reading Japanese manga and books and watching lots of Japanese movies and dramas after that. And I already visited Japan twice, which was in 2015 with my mom and this year in February with uh, my best friend. But the first time I considered myself as traveling was in 2012. I remember I bought the flight ticket to Kota Kinabalu by myself, for myself without my family or any of my friends. I went to Kota Kinabalu to visit my one of my best friends in secondary school. She was a grad student in University of Malaysia Sabah and I asked her to chaperone or my tour guide in Sabah. I stayed with her in her dormitory and she's the one who helped me a lot traveling around Kota Kinabalu and a few other places such as the upside down house in Tampari and the Kundasang area. She asked her friend to become our driver for two days while I was in Sabah. That was the first time I traveled alone without my family members and I learned how to buy flight tickets and try to find cheap flight tickets afterwards. And then in 2013, I moved back to my hometown. I started to travel overseas. I remember going to South Korea for the first time in 2013 in November with one of my friends from law school. We touched down in Busan and take the KTX to Seoul. My dad used to be so worried that I travel alone for the first time. In 2014, I haven't visited anywhere because, well, minus the short vacations during weekends. Penang is just around one hour away from my place. So I usually visited Penang for at least twice a month because I'm visiting my best friend there. And I did not consider myself as a tourist in Penang because Penang is so close to me, so close to my hometown. That's it for today's vlog. So if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.